Greetings, we call this episode 2 of the series Epiphany. As a sort of prelude to this, I happened to see a Facebook post with a link about the Hedron Collider and the thing that stood out most was the cost of it, which contains those numbers 7, 1 and 4. I believe it was 714, I don't know if it's million or billion, it's just another O between a million and a billion. The O is a, is a nothing, it is a whole, it is everything and yet it is nothing. So the 147, we'll come on to that a little bit later in this video um, because it comes down to if it's the truth, it can be seen from multiple vantage points. But I wish to relay a message from this new star that is everywhere and yet nowhere that I refer to as Junus. It is a song called Losing My Religion and the group name was R.E.M which stands for Rapid Eye Movement. It's actually referenced in the song. We'll come on to that. So we'll start with the actual song, with the lyrics. All life, it's bigger. It's bigger than you, and you are not me. The lengths that I will go to, the distance in your eyes. Oh no, I've said too much. I set it up. Let's go back over that again. All life, it's bigger, it's far more than you can see with the physical eyes, is what it is referring to. It's bigger than you. It's referencing the universe, which is the you in verse. The length that I will go to, how long is a piece of string? The distance in your eyes. So it's saying that the length, the only length it does need to go to is the distance between your eyes. It's actually very close and yet very far all at the same time. Oh no, I've said too, too much. I set it up. Although Eunice, as I call it, is a new star or a new planet or a new sun whatever way you wish to think of it it is a birth it is a combination of jupiter and venus jupiter is about expansion it represents the divine masculine the outward seeking that is reflected internally as the out pushing of the red through the arteries as opposed to the divine feminine which is the Venus, which is the return, which is represented by the blue in the veins. That's two of your trees in your physical body. It, the root system, your nervous system. There's actually 12 systems in the body. Anyway, the next verse in the song, that's me in the corner, that's me in the spotlight, losing my religion, trying to keep up with you, and I don't know if I can do it. Oh no, I've said too much. I haven't said enough. That's me in the corner. It's referencing that cornerstone that the builders rejected because it is not a physical stone. But it is the, the foundation stone on which you build. It is internal. That's me in the spotlight. What is the spotlight? It's the mind's eye that projects out into this reality and creates on this natural green screen. On a personal ta uh, tangent to this, what has been stopping this channel grow, for example? There is only one thing that has actually stopped this channel from growing. That is me. 
because there was a conflict internally with wanting to get the message out but not wanting the fame but that you can't be at the front of a battle as it were without ending up in the spotlight the spotlight comes upon you whether you like it or not and this comes down to like dislike that is taking a bite from the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil when we apply a term to something and make a judgment so going back to the song that's me in the spotlight losing my religion so this you could say is god or the oversoul this is this is Eunice talking here. All the things that have been done in the name of God, for example, all the wars, all the loss of life, as it were. Ideally, you need to divorce yourself from all relay of the jinn with all of these sayings. And I'll come on to that in future videos because they say so much in what they don't actually say as as much as in what they do say it just requires a little bit of lateral thinking on this so that's me in the spotlight losing my religion trying to keep up with you and i don't know if i can do it what is it trying to keep up with it's the thoughts that go round in our heads, these electrical circuits where we, they are like supercomputers. Do not be fooled and do not have fear of man being merged with machine. What do you think these physical bodies are? Where do you think all these ideas came from in the first place? Be it the Google Cloud or the idea of a human consciousness being placed into some sort of technology. These physical bodies are a kind of technology, a biological technology, unless of course you're going to tell me that you actively put conscious thought into the operation of all your organs, the flow and rate of, fl of flow of oxygen and blood around your body, or if you get a cut or something, do you consciously instruct the body to do anything? And what happens when you sleep? So who's in control of the body? Is it your conscious mind? Because if your conscious mind is not controlling it, what is? It's a kind of technology that runs on an autopilot. So, I don't think I need to explain this next line. Oh no, I've said too much. I haven't said enough. It, but it's showing the... It sounds like a contradiction. But it's, it's manifesting out as in this realm where we have this perception of duality. So, as enough has been said, but... Not enough has been said at the same time. Because clearly, much of humanity does not hear. If we go with the story and we take, we go back to the first murder of Cain uh, murdering Abel, do we place all the blame there? And what have we learned from that if murders are still taking place? That's why... It is, I've said too much and haven't said enough. So the next verse, I thought I heard you laughing, I thought I heard you sing. I think, I thought, I saw you try. What you think is what you create. When it is put into thought, you'll see it. And then the next line is very re revealing, but that was just a dream. Just a dream. It's repeated twice because it is a realm of duality. Every whisper, every waking hour, I'm choosing my confessions, trying to keep an eye on you. This is internally inside you. This is at your very core. This is where it is coming from, whether you know it or not. 
like a hurt, lost and blinded fool. It's the zero card in tarot. It's the fool. It's the innocent fool. It's the fool that you will go through. It is expressed as the fall of man. It is expressed in the chakra system where you need to fall from the solar plexus, the place of the sun, to go down that one rabbit hole that does have a bottom where you reach that cornerstone, that foundation stone, which is the rock bottom, the Peter, the Petra, that on which you can then build because it is a solid, firm foundation. Uh, where do we get to? Like a hurt, lost and blinded fool. Fool. But it, fool can be heard in two ways. As a fool, someone who's an idiot or someone who's perceived as an idiot. Or it can be a fool. Oh no, I said too much. I set it up. It's the oversoul relaying and telling you through art. I'd like to go off on a little tangent here. As much as anything, it reiterates, if something is true, it can be seen from multiple angles. I seem to recall that, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the group that sang Hotel California, but the band members were asked what that song means, and they said they didn't know, it doesn't mean anything. Similarly, recently, in the last few days, I left a comment to a cover of the Queensryche song, Silent Lucidity, performed by a group called Fleesh, which I feel is a fantastic interpretation of the song. I, I would highly recommend listening to Fleesh. And I pointed out in the comments, they didn't understand my first comment, but what was portrayed there is magical. You have a female lead singer who is singing the song. She represents the divine feminine, the telling of the story. The male counterpart represents the divine masculine who is playing the parts, all the instruments, the lead guitar, the bass and the keyboards. So the divine male is in the supporting role, and I pointed this out to them in the follow-up comment and said the sound was made fleesh, or the word was made fleesh, so the song is expressed. There's an art in everything. The artists themselves do not realise what is being mediated through them. These physical bodies are hosts. They are the medium of this oversoul in which to express. God became man. So God is expressing what it has created. Through all of us. On a further side note, when I get compared to some mythological character or called a magician, I will acknowledge that the lower conscious side is jumping for joy at that, and it loves it. I'm not trying to suppress it. What would be the point of that? I wish for the ego to be on side, but that is the wrong term. It's the, it's the id. Bring the children unto me. Is it coincidence that it is Carl Jung, the young, that, it, that expressed and... Uh, show that it is the id, which is the id. So when you hear the ea is attached to an individualized form, which becomes the idea which comes to the artist at a subconscious level. So if you take the ea out of here, you are left with h and r. We're in a realm of duality where everything is flipped. So the HR is the RH. It is something in your blood. It is all part of the program within these physical, biological machines that we call a vessel, a flesh suit, a garment. <coughs> so back to the song. Consider this. 
consider, consider this all these centuries so throughout known time basically throughout the chronology the history of mankind regardless of how it's been told edited tried to be overwritten the silver thread of truth runs through it all you've got the history you have the chronology if you listen to what jason of archaics channel shows it also shows the repeat patterns i'll come back to that relating to the 147 in a moment consider this the slip that brought me to my knees failed what if all these fantasies come flailing around the slip that brought me to my knees that's implying the fall into human form but it failed because it is being revealed at this very time what if all these fantasies come flailing round all the ideas we get in the head see there's the word idea it, the ea has been attached to an id now i have said too much going back to the song i thought i heard you laughing i thought i heard you sing i thought i think i thought i saw you try now the way it is sung shows it as being one sentence but if you put the pauses in i think i thought you've had an idea you've now started to picture it in your mind it's become a thought from the idea which is the think think about what is right in the center of the actual word think it is i it is referring to the mind's eye I think I thought I saw you try. So it's been visioned. As Neville Goddard would say, see it through to the end, remember the future, and you will hit the bullseye every time. Back to the song. But that was just a dream. That was just a dream. It repeats it again. When songs repeat things, they are like a mantra. They are trying to impress upon you through repetition just like the system does with repetition in the same way that you learn to walk it is through repetition you impress it upon yourself through repetition until it becomes second nature uh, where are we so the rest of it has already been covered because it's just a repeat but that was just a dream try cry fly try i would substitute try cry why don't you try just a dream just a dream dream and look what right is in the middle of dream you've got e a again so that leaves d r m so let's swap that round and you have mr d mr death meet mr death he is number four. So now let's go back to this one, four, and seven. You have seven chakras within one body. Right at the center of that chakra system of seven is number four, which is the heart. The four is a door. There's a beautiful song, I shall probably do a breakdown on properly at the later date by Toya called Elocution Lessons. And the opening lines of that song are, is, The door is a whore, and it's open wide. Um, naked as the beast, we feast inside. Naked as the beast, it's transparent, it's not covered. The feast inside is the gold mine with inside you. Which also reminds me of another song called checkbook which sounds a very unlikely song that would have an esoteric message but i will come on to that one it's a, by a group called dr feel good there is no coincidences with any of these things if i think about the name toya two y ah to understand to understand to know why 
Why is this happening? Why is that happening? Why have we just had a Scorpio full moon? What does Scorpio represent? That is Judas. Judas sets off a chain of events that leads to a resurrection. That's all you need to take from that story. Could, can you hate Judas in that context, seen from that perspective? Judas is also Eve. Eve takes, is persuaded to take the, a bite from the apple and then persuades Adam to do the same. Adam just follows. But it sets off a sequence of events, otherwise we'd still be in the garden, we would not be going through experiences. Prior to that, you have Lilith, Lilith who you could say is the jilted lover. The one that was originally abused, uh, disrespected. So this is all on the rebound, but Lilith, Eve and Judas are three in one. So if you add three to one, you're going to get four. Four is a door. So you have the one. You have the seven from the chakra system. You have the seven colours of the rainbow. Jacob's coat of amazing colours refers to that chakra system. It's an all internal. It is not external. The, reason, the very reason that you've had a spate of films in recent years of the uh, Marvel comic book characters like Spider-Man and things, you only have to consider the character of Iron Man, who is Tony Stark. It is showing you a stark contrast. If you think you're going to see mutant X-Men with laser beams coming out of their eyes and such like. Well, you're trying to materialize something and taking it to literally. But at the same time, those with the eyes to see, those with the ears to hear, those that are on the right frequency may well just see that in an energetic form. It's an extension of some that can see auras, they can see colours and things around a physical being. The four is also reflected in the way Rudolf Steiner explains it, that you are four bodies. You have one physical body, then you have three non-physical bodies. So there's your three in one. They are your etheric or life body, your astral body, and your eye organisation, which is your id, your id, or your ego. Rudolf Steiner originally refers to it as the ego and then calls it the I organization. There's a very, very misleading story put out about you've got to kill the ego. It's the ego is part of the ID that, may, that gives you your individualized uniqueness. The weaknesses that become your strengths, for example, is when you, are, when you have the ego under control, that negative polarity of it, and you get it on side so you are fully aligned within oneself, because if you are going to build a tower, you don't want to be building a leaning tower of Pisa, and you certainly don't want to be building a tower of Babel. So it, everything internally needs to be built on the solid foundation, that rock bottom, that cornerstone. It requires being internally in being fully in alignment within oneself. And then you can build the tower or the pyramid within inside yourself. You rise up with inside yourself. So you reach that seventh chakra. It is within one. It passes through the heart, which is the number four. The four is a door. It's also expressed, if you add four and seven together, makes eleven. So there's one of those twelve disciples that stands out distinct from the other eleven. And that is that 
role played or the archetype represented by Judas seemingly to be doing a bad thing but setting off a chain of events that actually has a beautiful uh, conclusion which is not actually a conclusion because there is no death as I said on a comment to the previous video what they said is not wrong to some perspectives I am totally misleading you but that's the beauty of it because it will come round full circle and I will even reveal that from a perspective of song lyrics over a course of songs it's a song called The Pact the outcome of that is revealed in as much as what I am imparting here will reveal it comes back to if something is true it can be seen from multiple angles wow so the message in that song losing my religion it is really about this oversoul what you can call God although the term has been very much hijacked I refer to it as Eunice. What has been done in its name? It's not uh, what is required or necessary. The knot, if you undo the knot and find you are not me, shows that we are one. And acknowledging that that higher self is connected to something greater than it, beyond it, but also it is within us. To attack anybody, in any form, whether it be just the thought, verbally, or physically, it would be self-harming, effectively. It would be when you hurt others you're ultimately hurting yourself and that is very true three in one so you can do it mentally you can do it vocally and you can do it physically so that's three but it's going against number four which is the heart the heart would not do that that's coming from an uncontrolled ego that feels it has to defend something when there is absolutely nothing to defend. So, I like this. Do challenge me in the comments. I'm sure you'll find that I, I won't disagree with you. I may disagree with your perspective. But I can assure you that from what I've sensed and what I've felt, I know this to be true, I don't expect you to believe me, I'm just really trying to give you a perspective to, for you to unlock something inside yourself. This is not to put me up on some pedestal that, look at me, I'm special, I know more than you, and all this nonsense. There's another number four, as above, so below. The key here is to add the W on the end of so, as above, so below. So what you create in the mind, you sow upon this earth, be it seeds or whatever. As within, so without, that is your magnetic energy. It comes out like a cone. Why do you think this is called U-cube? Because that cone, when it is pulled right out, when you extend and radiate out your magnetism, become, it becomes very much as it would look like a tube. There are no coincidences with anything. Uh, where did we get to? I've just sort of lost my train of thought from that. It may come back in a moment. Um, yes, the other parts are, must it be, it must be. And the fourth part, because everybody knows those first two sayings, so there's your half-truth. So the fourth and final part, which is the number four, 
is to know everything is to know nothing. Can I point to something in the external that backs that up? Yes. Think of the Google Cloud. Think of the way computers work. Is all that information within that computer on that hard drive or can it be pulled in from an extension of itself? We can also look at the number four if you see this reality as like a computer game where you are playing the part of, say, Sonic the Hedgehog. You are being operated by your higher self. And there's a trinity here, so there's a three in one going on here. The other aspect is the computer. So there's three component parts for that character to operate in that computer game, which is this reality. But what powers the computer? Is it not about checking sources? What is the source of the energy for that computer? Now take that same analogy and apply it to yourself. What is your source? What is your true power? I will come on to that probably in the next video. But hopefully that has given you more ways of seeing the 147, how it makes an 11, how the 12 have to lose one in the terms of emotions that will beat doubt and fear, which is the Judas part, the one that goes looking externally for a reward. It's a necessary role. It's a process we're, we're all, all going through at various stages, facing yourself effectively. Getting to the root, getting to the source of what is it that is holding you back. You may want to reflect upon that. You don't actually need a physical mirror if all you can see is your physical shell. But if you look within your eyes, deep within your own eyes in the mirror, that may give you a clue of where to look and where you will also find the only rabbit hole that does have an end to it. It is all an inside job. So I hope this has given you more ways of considering things to give you that all-round perception, that 360-degree view of this thing we call life and why we're here what our purpose is, but I will come on further onto that, those magical questions, which do have a magical symbol which gives the answer. But we'll come on to that maybe in the next video. So, love to you all.